Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2395, which is a super hard level. It really is, but I can't help it. I think this one's kind of fun because there's actually some strategy to it instead of total luck, but there is luck involved. If I can get about 222,000 points, I can get a color bomb, which is good because color bombs mixed with ticking time bombs are what help us to get the points on this board. Although by then, that many points I'll probably already have uh, won if I can get that far because I only need two, 250,000 points to get a star. So let's see what I can do. The first thing I want is a setup that allows me to remove some of these frosting or take this out. Maybe not immediately take this out because then I'll just be dealing with another ticking time bomb set at 15, but that's a threat to me. I don't have a good setup, but I know that I can exit without losing any lives, and if I were to bring in boosters, I wouldn't lose any boosters. So I like to just kind of play around a bit. This is a little bit better, and I'm tempted to start with it, but I'm going to just pause the recording and see if I can come up with something better. I'm really worried about that. So I will meet you back here when I find a better board. This one looks interesting. I'm going to take a spin here because I can keep hacking away at some of these areas. But I'm also hoping maybe to get a reshuffle in here because reshuffles can transplant. There we go, the the offender. So I liked that I could open this up and still have a board that was just bad enough to give me an opportunity to clear things out. So I can take this out and it doesn't produce a new one here. This got replaced. Uh, but now I need to start getting some things that will open up the popcorn or give me another opportunity to get a color bomb somehow. This is a good popcorn opener. Let's see what this is. Nothing good, but it got taken care of right away. I can only get one of these guys on the board at a time. Now, once I am able to get the popcorn popped or get a color bomb in some way, I'm going to want as many ticking time bombs on the board as possible. That's why I'm trying to open this area up. Ah, oh, stink. That's a bad spot to have that. I'm going to try just a little bit longer to get this open. If this gets set off, I won't... Well, now I kind of have to do this now. So I'm going to try to open these up while I'm taking this out. Okay, let's see what I can get here. Wrapped, wrapped will help. It will open this totally and bring these down. So now the only one I can reach is green, but I don't have green here. I don't have a lot of green on the board, so that's okay. What I'm going to do is allow this to um, open up on its own. And if it takes out a color that has enough, there we go. That's how we get our points. Uh, so that's all I need to do is wait until I get enough of those ticking time bombs and then the color bomb will do its own work. That's how I beat this level. That was actually my ninth playthrough for recording purposes, but I like this level because even though there is an element of luck with those mystery candies, there is a lot of strategy. You have to take out that ticking time bomb. Getting a reshuffle is a strategy to try to employ. Then you have to get some uh, color bombs and then you have to get the ticking time bombs so that you have something to use that color bomb with. If you'd like to see more videos you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments please put those below and as always thanks for watching.